Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video, and in today's video, it is day four of the Grandest Party of Them All, Season 25, and in today's video, we're taking Kaido into the Grand Party Game Mode and seeing how he rocks while the rule set doesn't benefit him. Saying that, though, it does still benefit him a, a little bit, but he doesn't have the mighty minus 40% uh, extra to his charge. He doesn't have the extra burst ability at his disposal, but we will be going into the grandest party of them all with this particular setup right here. Now, Kaido is very, very good. He has a very powerful leader skill. He has a great burst ability, and he has abilities that can t utilize the forced out, which makes him absolutely insane when it comes to a grand party leader. As I mentioned, the rule set does benefit him just a little bit because powerhouse characters are getting buffed, plus shooters are getting buffed too, and the Dex powerhouse shooter team does see um, a very strong standpoint in the meta. But if you enjoyed the video, belt the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new, and hit the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on the, any of the OPTC content. With that said, let's see what we can fight. All right, so we got one retry under our belt. So we're going to go up against a Int Gear 5. Um, Int Gear 5, look, he's still the be-all or end-all when it comes to the Grand Party game mode. I still think he has the best leader skill. Just putting what Kaido does aside for a second, the amount of damage output that this Gear 5 has and the amount of... Um, well, the, the power of his teams, I should say, is just absolutely ridiculous. So we'll see how he rocks, how Kaido rocks up against Int Gear 5. We do know that the first team is a strength team. We know the second team is Int, which Int right now is just, it's so hard to take on. Uh, Int is just in such a really good spot, especially with all of the extras that they get from the rule set. Uh, on top of, like, just the insanity that Blackbeard brings, which is just crazy. So, we know we're fighting a, um, a strength team. We're going to use our quick team. I'm not 100% confident in this quick team to get the job done, but strength fighters are getting... Some significant nerfs this particular season. Uh, so that actually works in our favor just a little bit. Now, this particular quick team, I have been a pretty big fan of. Uh, but it's not exactly like the best team going around in the middle. I do think that strength sits comfortably in the top three. While this particular quick team probably sits somewhere around the top five-ish. Now, fortunately, we just had um, Tesoro go before Luffy. Which means that Luffy's actually going to give all that special charge to Tesoro. Which is a shame because... I really wanted Roger and Odin to get that special charge back. But Roger and Odin hits very, very hard. Smoothie now gets her special back. So at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal because Smoothie pretty much just killed and Roger Odin pretty much just killed everyone. So that's always a good time. Paralysis is coming in clutch there. Cross Guild can roll back some specials. And at this point, we're just not even going to see that Luffy special, which is very, very nice. Because Luffy, uh, Luffy can do a lot of damage, so that should be a white, uh, whitewash there. The enemy, uh, they did it, but I was going to say, the enemy has the burst, so they could definitely just pop the burst and call it a day. The downside to that quick team is the bench, so um, pulling out the W there and baiting the enemy team into using a burst is actually really, really nice. Moving on to the second fight, um, this is going to be hard, man. I'm pretty sure I saw, okay, there's no Blackbeard. No Blackbeard, which is good. Uh, any in-team with Blackbeard nowadays, man, is very scary. They do have Yamato. Yamato obviously has that ability to just, like, death hit. So there's also that. But we have a burst, and the enemy will have a burst. I'm not going to use this straight away because um, it will just charge the enemy burst. So that's not going to be a fun time. But once we see, like, some characters with max charge, we might actually pop it. Um, I'll take the S-Hawk special, just because, again, I don't want to have to deal with um, the burst ability right away. Once the enemy gets their burst, though, I definitely will use it. So let's see what Pell does here. Pell doesn't give the burst. Kaido definitely should, though. I have a feeling Kaido will. Yeah, Kaido will. So let's use our burst before the enemy. This gives us some nice stats and then applies forced out. So even if we get hit... Oh, forcing out Yamato is perfect. Even though we get hit here, it's going to like do damage. But now we have our burst ability back up and charged. And the enemy has, what, 10 seconds of forced out. We have our burst ready to go again. We have our boy S-Bear coming in off the bench. Uh, Frankie's going to go. Frankie didn't die, which is great because Frankie hits very hard. Perfect. 
ironically, I think if we just do this, we win. Right? Because the enemy still has forced out for six seconds. And then this is going to force out Smoker if he doesn't die. So then we just win. Beautiful. Man, Kato's, <laughs> Kato's ability to just, like, uh, manipulate a force out against anyone is just so freaking powerful, man. So freaking powerful. But, look, we managed to get the win very easily there. Um, we now don't have any retries, so let's see what else we can fight. Alright, well, we don't really have much of a choice here, do we? We'll hit the refresh button. Maybe we'll get lucky. We won't see three gear fives. We'll see gear three gear fives and an ace. So, I guess we're going to fight ace. Um, Ace's leader ability is just nowhere near as scary as what Luffy's actually doing. The second team, we can kind of say, all right, well, that is going to be a dex team. So let's do this, and we will absolutely send it. So as you guys saw in that last fight, Kaido, he's a demon, man. Like, he he's so friggin' good. The ability to just choose when to use your burst, knowing that the enemy has 100% chance, 100% cooldowns, just means that you can just automatically just force out characters. And having double force out because he takes damage, or sorry... Having the ability to use it twice after just taking damage from a said burst ability is ridiculously strong. And Kaido, if you're using him, is a great counter to Ink Gear 5 Luffy because of that reason. However, Ink Gear 5 Luffy just does so much more damage that you could just like easily whitewash a team rather than have to rely on that sort of forced out mechanic. Now, we are versing a strength team that has Kobe but no uh, Straw Hat unit, so that's super interesting. But they are running um, King in the front with some serious... DPS. Now, we are going to take the Jack special. This is actually good for us, because the HP cut, it's a HP cut. Um, it's, like, annoying, but it's nothing, like, too scary. It, the upside to it is, is, is that it charges our burst ability uh, for us, which is really, really good. Now that we've had our three um, home braids go in Smoothie, Cross Guild, and um, Tesoro, ideally, like, perfect world right there, we would have had Roger and Odin go before Luffy. But, the fact that uh, I still give it to Zora. I say it should still give it to Smoothie because Smoothie should be on a lower charge. But um, Smoothie's charge rate's faster than Tesoro, so unfortunately it is what it is. Roger and Odin literally just kills everything. It's <laughs> just a whitewash. Okay, well, if you can roll back specials in a rule set, man, like it's just it's kind of nuts. I believe what strikers are boosted, shooters are boosted, so we're not getting that many money buffs from the rule set either. We're just sort of relying on Kaido's like leader ability to get us over the line here, which is really really fun. All right, we need some rollback. Okay, this is a, this is a, over. I was going to say, Ace has a burst, but Ace's burst is kind of mid. So I don't really see it being a, an issue if um, they do decide to throw it out our way. Going into the second fight now, we get to use our Int team. Int is just so ridiculous right now. Um, I did recently upload a top five PvP teams, my top five. And I believe that this team is like pushing the number one spot. Uh, right now, Int is so good in Grand Party. I do believe that it's it's probably the best team in the game under the right leaders. With some rule set and stuff like that, it's, it's basically just unbeatable, man. It just works so well. You can even throw on, like, Nami Karina uh, instead of, like, uh, Moria, and then run just another power ass, you know, like, poor Chemi on the bench, and you can do some really bonkers stuff. Like, really, really silly stuff. So, uh, if you guys have the pieces of the puzzle for the in-team, uh, try it out, because Blackbeard's edition just makes it so strong, and with rule sets buffing teams and Blackbeard just nerfing teams... Um, you're not really gaining much, but you're stopping the enemy from doing things as well. So Blackbeard applies level 10 dot damage. That's just doing... Look how much damage that did to Luffy, man. Holy shit. And what? Luchi just got... Jesus Christ. It's a, it's a lot of damage, man. A lot of damage. Now, Luchi has his special ready. So does Big Mom. So, okay. Well, everyone's dead. We don't, we don't even have our burst. I was like, we could use our burst, but I just look... I went to swipe it. We don't even have it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, Ace... Ace's leader is just mid as hell in Rumble, dude. Absolutely mid. Level 15 uh, d uh, stat drops from Yamato just makes, like, our life so much easier. What, level 10, negative 10 defense on something like Dalton, and then we'll take a GP burst. That's fine. You're just going to give us our burst, man. So then I do this, and everyone dies. Cool. Well, Dalton survived, but... Oh, Luffy, okay, Luffy come back. Luffy came back. I was going to say, like, if we, as long as we just kill Dolph, Dalton, we win, right? Luffy's damage, let's see how much damage over time, the, the, let's see how much the damage over time does. Okay. I don't think it triggers on special. All right, well, that's a shame. Oh, he has the revive still. That actually saved you, good luffers, because now your teammates can come back. 
Interesting. We're going to skip this, though, because it's a win, right? Like, we can all agree that that's a win. Yeah, that was a win. Beautiful stuff. Kaido getting a double, getting the dirty double with no knockouts on our side, too, which is very impressive so far. Let's move on to the final fight of day three. Alrighty, so we've got some change leader strats. Um, I love the change leader strat because it just makes it so much nicer without having to deal with the burst. Because as you guys saw, when you go up against something that doesn't have a burst like Ace, it's just, it's much easier to get the win. So, we are going to take on this particular team here. Uh, obviously, the first team is Psy, so I'm not going to put my uh, Int team there. We will rock it like this, I think. This is probably the best way to go about it. Um, we could definitely chuck Konus on our Psy team and then run Int versus Psy. You know what? We might do that. One sec. All right, we're back. We threw Konus onto our Int team. We're going to run that first, and then I, I'll, I'll chop and change depending on what happens in this first fight for the second fight. I don't know if we're going to use Dex next or Quick next. Um, the thing with using Quick is a lot of people are running Dex right now, so... Using quick when you don't know what's in front of you can be a bit scary. Um, and not many people are running strength either. So that's definitely a uh, an issue. But we decided to take off um, Smoker. We pushed S-Hawk to the bench for the int team. And then we brought in Konus in the front. And this is the versatility that the int team actually has. Um, usually int versus Psy is kind of like back and forth, back and forth. Int have usually had the upper hand when it comes to taking on Psy. But now, like with Blackbeard, like Psy is just... Nothing compared to Int, in my opinion, at playing the game mode, of course. But um, if you throw Konus on a team against an Int team with Blackbeard, it's kind of a cheat code. Because like, if you do stuff like this, you special bind Yamato for 20 seconds, you block other characters, then you throw in some half stats from Moria and stuff. Like All of a sudden, like this team is really not a threat at all. Like Sure, Yamato can't do her insta-kill stuff. And unless the Psy team has like Jin, Wanalore, and the Sanji, like, all three of them together... It's not really that big of a problem when taking it on. Plus, Int have um, Gear 5 Int Luffy, who can do this when you do take on Powerhouse, uh, sorry, uh, Free Spirit characters. Um, so, like, even if we didn't kill there, like, that uh, Force Out mechanic would have just been an absolute nuisance for this team and just absolutely ripped them to shreds. So, bringing Konus into the front, definitely a very, very easy way to take down Psy. Obviously, they have characters like Ace that are great against them. You could run Shanks as well, 6 plus Shanks. Uh, and then you have stuff like Om. A poo, your rogue, you can do that sort of stuff as well. Moving on to the second fight, though, I am going to save Dex for the final stage. I think um, I think we'll use quick second. Run the gauntlet, see what happens. It is a slasher team. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This quick team actually works really, really well against slashes. So having the rollback of Smoothie and Cross Guild can basically stop characters like Roger Whitebeard and S-Hawk, which is really, really nice. The extra three cooldown that Kaido gives to this team is very, very crucial to get that cooldown nice and fast. And then obviously with characters like Tesoro, we can do some fun stuff there too. So Cross Guild on 11 cooldown and then Smoothie on 8, not far behind um, Cross Guild. We can do some really, really cool stuff. The problem here is uh, Zoro and Sanji. Zoro, okay, they went very quickly there. Is this the speedy team? Oh, it is. Okay, we're going to do this. I don't want to deal with Zoro Sanji, man. We'll pop this burst. Can we forced out... Okay, we for, didn't force out Roger Whitebeard. I'd say, can we force out Roger Whitebeard, please? Because Roger Whitebeard is the one that we definitely want to stop. But now we've got... We lose Smoothie, and we lose a lot of damage there. Cracker should give us our burst, I believe. Okay, we're a little bit off. But that's okay. We're going to roll back some specials here. I don't think this can affect the force out characters. No, it doesn't. But that's okay, because like... The two big threats are uh, S-Hawk and Whitebeard Roger. So this should do some damage. Beautiful stuff. The two characters on the bench come back. Odin might hit us pretty hard. But as soon as he does, we can just basically force out Zora Sanji again. Uh, the other characters aren't even close to their specials. Blue Jam is going to some, do some half stats. Beautiful stuff. Really good damage from Blue Jam there. And Cross Guild's ready to go once again. So we can now roll back. Okay, now, now we're in a really good spot. Roll back their specials there. Kanjo is going to hit with some fixed damage. If we can get Luffy to go one more time, this will be a wrap. But at the same time, if they keep putting in like these little shots, then we should be able to... Odin's almost dead, actually. That's kind of fun. Okay, Odin is dead. That's awesome. This is a win. This is going to be a win. As soon as, um, like... Okay, Cap Viper... As soon as Cap Viper goes, we should be able to burst, use our burst and win. But now, Brook's going to use his special, and the same thing's going to happen. So, we're going to go... Bada-bing, bada-boom... 
pop it off. So Kaido's burst is just so phenomenal. It's probably my favorite burst to use, if not the best burst in the game, alongside Inter Gear 5. And that's what makes these two characters the, the clear cut number one and number two best grand party leads. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. While you're down there, belt the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Most importantly, if you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you all for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.